Have you ever heard of the no code concept? If you aren't aware already, no code is the future of app development and its rise in popularity is enabling those without coding experience to join in on app development. In this video from our series on how to create an app without coding, we are going to talk about no code and low code, how they differ and what benefits and drawbacks to expect when using them. I'm Alex from Jotform. Let's dive right in. It wasn't too long ago that creating an app from scratch would have proved impossible for those without coding skills. Thankfully, now there are many options for anyone with a great idea but no technical skills to create an app to reach their target audience. It's clear now that the future of mobile apps lies in no-code development, which allows engineers to build powerful applications. But don't worry, if you do happen to have a background in programming, your training will still give you a leg up in the no-code environment. No-code app development has helped to foster a space in the tech world, allowing almost anyone to create an app. And the no-code trend goes beyond apps and extends to websites with what you see is what you get web builders like WordPress. As you may have already guessed, no-code development refers to a method of app and website building through pre-built modules, allowing those without technical experience to drag and drop those modules to form their custom app or website. Jotform is a perfect example of a no-code platform as it enables users to create forms and tables without any prior coding knowledge. Users can easily choose pre-built templates and customize each form field to fit their business. No-code development is a good option for companies without an IT department or who prefer not to use their IT staff for app and web development. Similar to no-code, there is another concept called low code, which refers to development that requires less time to market, less overall costs, and allows more time to focus on high priority tasks. Through low code development tools, developers configure and launch applications with a minimal amount of coding. Generally, this means that a single developer can create the platform through a tool with a GUI or graphical user interface. Often, coders will use these platforms as a quick method of creating a prototype to demonstrate the final product. Once the user interacts with the design tools and interface, the platform generates a source code to the software, allowing programmers to alter the codes and fine tune the completed app. Of course, there are both benefits and drawbacks to the no-code and low-code platforms. The biggest benefit to no-code and low-code platforms is their ability to enable businesses to build apps and websites without developers and software engineers. This makes app development more accessible to small and mid-sized businesses. And both no-code and low-code reduce development time, bringing completed apps and websites to users faster than with traditional methods. After the app has launched, no and low code development makes maintaining apps and websites faster and less costly. In this way, no and low code methods are providing small and medium sized businesses with more control, allowing them to craft exactly what they want without relying on developers. Even still, no and low code platforms have their limitations. For instance, though some features are customizable, many others are not, meaning that apps and websites begin to feel similar to those built using the same templates. Further, especially when using a low-code platform, you can still expect high costs that may not be realistic for small businesses. And low-code platforms are often lacking in support options for new businesses and inexperienced developers. Another thing to consider is if your business works with a lot of video content, you will need to find additional cloud storage when working with low and no code apps, as many builders do not provide sufficient storage. Seeking third party cloud storage can lead to increased costs and integration issues. Now that we've discussed the future of app development, the differences between no and low code and their benefits and drawbacks, we can take a look at the types of features you should look for in a no code app builder. Join us for the next video in this series to learn more. Before we wrap up, let's review what we've learned today. No code and low code development are the future of mobile app development. These methods help to create a space in programming for those with little to no coding experience. While no code development works entirely with pre-built modules, low code is app development without a lot of coding. There are both 
benefits and drawbacks to no- and low-code platforms. One benefit is that they enable businesses to create custom apps without dedicated development teams or coding. A drawback is that no-code environments don't allow customization on all features, causing some apps and websites to look and feel repetitive. Again, I'm Alex from Jotform. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.